This video is brought to you by Gladiator Concealment and S4 Tactical Gear. Links are in the description box below. What's up guys, it's Michael and Kyle with AKM Tactical. We appreciate y'all watching. Uh, we had a viewer request that we do an EDC update. And it's a video that we've actually talked about doing. Uh, we've kicked it around. Some stuff has changed. Some stuff has stayed the same. But um, there's so much to talk about, we're going to break it into two parts. Um, we're going to let Kyle talk about his stuff. Then we'll let, you know, I'll get on here and talk about mine in the second video. Um, you know, our channel is really, it really revolves around everyday carry. Uh, we're not operators, we're not, you know, we're not, we're gun guys, but we're not operators. We're, we're your not, average Joes. We're, we're your average guys, and we just carry carry a gun to protect our family. So, uh, but without getting into too much of Kyle's time, I'm going to let him go ahead. So, take it over, man. Yeah, guys, um, we just wanted to kind of do an update EDC video, and like you said, we tossed it around, and we had a viewer kind of ask for it, so... Um, and it, they do seem to be, like, the most popular ones. They're, they're the ones that y'all want to see, so... Um, anyways, uh, you know... Even though, like, some things are going to change in our everyday carry, um, the philosophies are going to stay the same. You know, we feel like you need to carry a gun, uh, a good holster, a backup magazine, uh, a good belt, a gun a gun belt, yep. um, some kind of a blade, uh, medical, and then your standard stuff. Um, that's not going to change. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'll kind of breeze through the stuff that you've already seen and not bore you with it, and then I'll, uh, then the stuff that's new, I'll kind of you know take a little more time on that so uh you know first off is um you know carry some kind of medical so this is a tk4 tourniquet it like we say it don't cost you anything when you carry it you can throw it in your back pocket um that's something i say a lot it doesn't cost you anything what i mean by that it's easy to do you don't even know it's there that's what i say about carrying a backup mag uh that's what i say about carrying a tourniquet it's easy to do um, at least have this on you at the least yep. um this is a pocket voc that i got from tactical response um, it is a, it's their mini VOC uh, or pocket VOC. They have a standard size VOC that, you know, fits in my uh, SOE micro rig that I, that's where I leave it. Um, but this is great, man. It comes with uh, a tourniquet, a TK4 tourniquet, uh, compressed gauze, which it's, it's compressed. And, and I mean, that's, that's a lot of gauze yeah. there. And you're going to need a lot to pack a wound, a bleeder. Um, it's got a decompression needle. Uh, some uh, duct tape which is handy it's got a clothes pin in here to kind of hold open an airway if you need to and some PPE some gloves uh, personal protection equipment um, guys uh, if if I walk into a room and somebody's coding the first thing I'm gonna do is put on gloves uh, I'm sorry but like I, I've got to you know it doesn't do me any good if I get you know hepatitis or something you know from somebody cuz I, I didn't wear gloves yep. so uh, you know where your, where your gloves take I mean, gloves are easy to get a hold of. These are nitrile gloves. Um, yeah, stick them in a online. stick them in a mini Ziploc or something, and, and keep them with you. Yep. Um, this is this is nice. Um, this is easy to carry, like in a cargo pocket. Uh, unless I really don't carry it unless I'm carrying a cargo pocket, but I will always have a, a tourniquet with me. Guys, even when I go to work and I'm wearing my scrubs, these go with me. Even though I'm going to a hospital, like I don't know what's going to happen in the parking lot along the way or Besides, whatever. they don't have really good tourniquets in the hospital. No, yeah, we have other ways of controlling. Yeah, we bleeding. have other ways of control the bleed, but tourniquets are not it. Yeah. Um, blade. Um, Spyderco Delica 4. Obviously, this one's got some wear on it. Um, yeah, guys, I just like Spyderco blades. Maybe it's a Japanese thing. I, I don't know. But uh, for what they are, I mean, they're sharp. The, they last forever. Um, no complaints. You've seen my fixed blade. Um, I carry this uh, on the left side up front, um, and this is just like a get off of me. Um, I, I, I would like to do some type of you know weapon retention training with a knife, because um, it's just not anything I really know a whole lot about. I know all I know is if I need to get somebody off me, I guess I would just stick them. I don't know. I need to get some training on it. Um, it's not something I know a whole lot about, but I do carry this for specifically gun retention. Um, this is new. Uh, this is a Streamlight ProTac 2, 2LX. 
Um, actually, when I bought this light, I had it for like a week, and then Warrior Poet Society John Lovell did his review on it, um, which kind of was like a confirmation, like, okay, maybe I bought the right light. But um, this is a 500 lumen light. Um, it's very similar to the Olight M18 Maverick that you've seen on the channel. Um, very similar. Um, this one's a little bit heavier. I think the aluminum's probably a little heavier. Um, this one has a removable pocket clip. I see no reason to remove it. Um, but the only reason I went out and bought this, I have had zero issues with my Olight. I just, I, I trust Streamlight. You know, Olight is a new company. They're, you know, Chinese made, manufactured. I haven't had any issues out of them, but I, something about it just didn't sit well with me. So, um, I bought, you know, Streamlight because I wanted, I was like, okay, I'll just buy this Streamlight once and be done with it. Very similar, very similar dimensions, very similar weight. Um, uses the same battery, CR123s, and then the large, the larger, I can't remember, but we'll do a full review on this one. But it's, it's like, it's a one battery and, and and it's longer and it fits in here and streamlight actually makes it a rechargeable version mm -hmm. so you can buy you know a couple of those batteries that are rechargeable and hook it up and always have mm -hmm. your max output in these which is freaking sweet um belt guys um we are lucky enough to have an awesome sponsor that makes high quality belts um this is the s4 tactical gear um in multi-cam black it is freaking sweet dave hooked me up um, I wear this belt. This belt it does what I need it to do. I need it to stay in place and I need it to keep my gun in place. And it does that and it does it well. Um, I can't say enough. This is actually the uh, slightly updated version that he did. Which is I think is pretty freaking sweet because um, he put a little stitch right here to kind of help aid this when you feed it. Um, and you know that was kind of a, a personal preference request that I had for him. And uh, the dude listens and he's like open to to suggestions and uh dude he's awesome we can't say enough thanks dude um you hook us up and our the biggest thing though is that all of y'all that have went and purchased a belt everybody has given a good review because we yep. want to know we want to hey what are your you know your yep. questions what are your you know do you have any complaints do you have any issues what are your suggestions everybody digs them yep. so uh great belts guys uh you need a good gun belt if you're going to carry a gun if not you're always going to be carrying something small yep. i can carry this in a standard belt i can't carry the rest of it though yep. and you're limited with this gun yep so let's with that we'll we'll, we'll uh venture over to the to the firearms um y'all seen this on the channel this is my uh smith and wesson shield and nine millimeter with no manual safety uh, i don't fool around with all that um, it's got IDOT Pros riding on it with a fluorescent orange front sight. Um, Y'all seen this gun? Um, honestly, this gun is carried more by my wife than by me. Um, she likes to carry it. Women, you know, are smaller frames. So I understand, you know, the need to carry a smaller gun more often. Um, I've got this riding in the Lag Tactical uh, Defender. Nothing's changed. Um, it's a great gun. Right now you can get this gun for 250 bucks. Yeah, you um, shop around. You can. This gun, okay. Now, I will always, always, always tell any any new person if they have no preference, if like they're coming to me and they're a clean slate and they're like, "Hey, I need to buy my first gun. What am I gonna buy?" I will tell them a Glock 19. Yep. Every time. Um, it's just the great. It's it's great all around. It's a good carry gun. It's good for home defense. It's good for the range. Uh, Masada, you did a uh, article on it, and he, he it was called Glock 19, great for beginners and for professionals. Yeah. Um, it's it's just the all-around handgun, um, something in similar size like this P320. That's a good place to, to start at the range. Now, if somebody asks me, I'm new to concealed carry, what concealed carry gun should I buy? I would actually go towards this one or a Glock 43. Why is that? Because when you're new to carry, uh, these smaller guns are easy to carry and it, it's kind of like a building a confidence thing. It's like driving a car for the first time. You know, you, you got to slowly build confidence and get more comfortable and, you know, before, you don't want to just hop on the interstate, you know, or in five lane traffic the first time you, you start driving. That's, that, to me, this is the same way. 
um, carrying a gun that's thin profiled, you're not as worried about you know printing and, and all those things. And um, me and Michael actually talked about this earlier. And I, you know, whenever you first carry a gun for the first time, you're like, oh my god, everybody can see the gun. That's what you feel like. I told him it's like pretend like you some somebody made you unzip your fly and you had to leave it unzipped and then walk around Walmart. You feel like everybody's looking at it. In reality, people probably really aren't looking at it, yeah. but you think they are, and it, it, it makes you uneasy. So um, a shield or a single stack 9 of some sort of Glock 43, uh, Walther, you know, is a good place to start for concealed carry. Then eventually, you know, you'll get to where you're, you're cool with carrying a Glock 19. I mean, I assume it was that way for you, too. Yeah, um, well... Well, you've never had a single stack, but... I'm, well, I had a shield. Oh, yeah, that's right. I did. I had a shield. Uh, when I first got started in this, I bought, I bought a, uh, let's see, what was the first thing? I, first thing I bought was a 17. It was too much. I bought a 19. I got my license. I carried a 19. I started out carrying a 19. Um, I had that anxiety, but I got over it really quick, and I started out carrying a 19. But I'm, you're a big frame guy, I'm too. I'm a bigger guy, too. Uh, I bought a shield, and I never carried it. I carried it a few times. It was super comfortable. I just, I liked carrying my 19, and um, I sold my shield and bought a Glock 26 and now when I need something that I super conceal it's a Glock 26 but um this is a good beginner's gun it's though. a good beginner's gun um I'm not the social norm I'm not you know most most people they would much rather carry that single stack because it's just it's a lot more concealable it's a lot more comfortable all those things I just I started out in a 19 and that's kind of where I where I stayed but um I'm not I'm not like most people all right guys so you know that's enough on the shield we're gonna talk about this one uh, this is my baby Glock it's a Glock 27 I told y'all that whenever I first got into guns uh, I was in the 40 because that's what the FBI said worked at that time um, you know since then I switched most of my guns over or all of my carry rotation over to 9 millimeter I just haven't I haven't done that with this one Glock 26 is on my short list there. Um, this is a Glock 27. Uh, it's got your Ameriglow eye dots on it with the fluorescent orange front sight. Um, it's a Gen 4. It's an ellipses Glock. Um, it comes with all your back straps, all that standard stuff. But I, I have ba basically left it the back straps off, and so it's in its smallest configuration. It's got a butt plug on it, grip plug. I like those on my Glocks. Um, you know, to each his own. And uh, I haven't everything else is stock. I, this isn't uh, the the uh, slide stop. Uh, that's neither here nor there. I'll probably switch that back to stock. I've got a Vickers uh, slide stop on it, um, but you know it. I've trained with the standard more than I have with this one, so I'll, that's probably why I'll switch it back. Um, but guys, it's riding in. Uh, a gladiator concealment dedicated Glock 26 27 holster and guys I'm telling you Manny has got this set up for my Canton ride height um, perfectly and the gun disappears with this holster um, like I can carry this gun with whatever mm -hmm. anything that I wear as far as shirts um, I can carry this gun as long as I'm not tucking it in um, like if I really you know I just I'm worried about Maybe where I'm going or printing or for whatever reason, uh, which is I really don't worry about that anymore. But if I if I did, um, you know, I would carry this probably the most. But um, just because it disappears, this holster's not something I probably would have thought of buying on my own until I got one. Yeah. Um, and the reason why is the footprint's smaller, so it makes mm -hmm. it more comfortable to carry. Um, it is a luxury, but it is nice to have. Yeah, now that we now that I have one, I I, I would always run a dedicated Glock 26 holster. Mm -hmm. uh, it's awesome. And another another great thing about Manny's dedicated holster and all, really all of Manny's holsters is that okay, this grip is short, right? Because this is the part of the gun that's you know that you have to conceal is the grip. That's the part that prints. But also, you know, if you're going to draw your firearm, you have to get a good firing grip on it. So you're going to want to get that that palm all the way up the you know web your palm all the way up in that back strap and you're going to want to get a good grip down here because you're not you don't have you know all your fingers on the gun because it's you know it's a baby glock so um this cut right here in this holster allows for a good firing grip and i can really get that get that gun out and get it 
you know, up and on target. Um, and you know, kudos to Manny for making such a sweet holster. Yep. And if 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 you're gonna buy a gun for concealed carry and you can only buy one gun, oh, it's hard to not get a Glock 26 because uh, you you can always carry it. Yeah. It's always concealable. And it takes every magazine they make for a 9mm Glock. Yeah, so if you got a Glock 26 like Michael has, you can get carry a 17 mag with it. Um, I'm actually carrying this today, so Glock 22 mag. So, you know, I've got 15 uh, rounds of 40 uh, to go with this along with the flush mag. Yep. Um, oh, and another thing, guys, I don't have all my mag pouches on the table because... They're redundant. They're all the same. I wear outside the waistband mag pouches, except for with a shield, I wear a dual mag pouch. So that gives me uh, 24 rounds because I have seven plus one, and I carry two eight-round mags. Um, anyways, so moving on, guys. Uh, something else that's kind of new is uh, another holster from Gladiator Concealment. It's Manny's light bearing holster for the TLR1. Um, I carry. This is the carry setup that I probably carry the most right now. Uh, my Glock 19 uh, and this Gladiator Concealment Holster with my TLR1. Why? Because, uh, I mean, it gives me the advantage of having a light on my gun. So, you know, say, I, and I guess the movie theater is one that always comes mm -hmm. to mind because we had the shooting in Lafayette. Uh, then we had like this falling out with our movie theater here locally because after that, then they didn't want us, you know, carrying a gun in the movie theater. So, Anyways, it it's just been a something that's that's always close to my mind, and um, I want to have a light on my gun if I'm in a dark place. Most of your shootings occur at night. Um, that's just criminals operate, you know, at night. Um, and I have kids, so um, if I need to move them or whatever, I can do that and still have the light and operate the gun, the light, you know, in the same and one-handed, you know. Yep. Do everything I need to with this one hand and still have this hand, you know, available. Yep. Um, you know, it you can I can still with the light on, I can get the full grip and I can operate the light with either my my thumb, my on my support hand or my index finger, my trigger finger, you know, either way. So, there's we've done a video on this on the TLR1 HL. Um, we've done a video on carrying a light, you know, on a concealed carry gun or on your home defense gun. Uh, there's a lot of pros and the only cons is that it's heavy yep that's it so um, that's the only negative is that it's heavy but the thing is if you have a good holster a good piece of codex and a good belt you can do that yep. um, anyway so standard Glock 19 this is our bread and butter um, <clears throat> Gen 4 um, Michael stippled it um, I've been happy with that it's it's been great it's you know just it feels better in the hand um, this gun has seen, I don't even know how many rounds. I mean, I gotta be approaching, you know, seven or eight thousand rounds with this gun. I mean, it saw a thousand rounds in one weekend at, or 700 rounds. And then shortly thereafter, I shot the other 300 rounds that I had at TAC Response. Um, so, uh, this is, this is a gun that we run most of our drills with, do most of our range time with, unless we're testing another gun or unless I just want to run you know some rounds through you know one of these carry pieces but uh this is my bread and butter this is the gun if if uh you know if a zombie apocalypse happened then i'd probably grab this one yeah um this one also at night rides in my bedside safe um because i've fitted it with the tlr1 in that holster so i'll take that holster off and i'll just simply put it in my bedside safe these other ones ride in my big safe um but i'll put this one in my bedside safe um, it's it's my jam, man. Mm -hmm. This is my. Uh, it's hard to beat it. It's got the eye dot, uh, the Ameriglow eye dots with the fluorescent orange front sight. Uh, trigger is stock. It has been, um, I guess, buffed a little bit. Yeah, he, polished. Yeah, Michael polished the trigger a little bit. Um, but other than that, you know, it, it's running, it's running stock. So, I, I know it doesn't look like a stock Glock, but it it, it really is, uh, internals wise. So. Can't beat a Glock 19. You know how we feel about them. Uh, this is my primary carry gun. Um, now, something new to the channel is the Sig P320, um, and this is riding in a Lag Tactical Defender. If I'm not carrying Manny, I'm carrying a Lag Tactical Defender. Um, this gun, I kind of almost bought like for the purpose of trying it out on the channel 
it was a gun that I that I liked, but I don't know if I would have necessarily bought it otherwise because my Glock 19 fills that role, you know. Um, but I will say this: this gun is a freaking shooter. Um, I just I had a range day recently. It was one of the best days I've ever had at the range. Um, I mean, I was shooting one whole groups, you know, like literally there was there was one group where I made a like a little not even one inch uh, square and like I you know put it was like at you know five yards but I mean just a one whole group I had one flyer and in 15 rounds and I I'm not I mean I'm a decent shooter uh, I, I'm probably better than most because I put the time in but I'm not you know I'm not like I'm not a competition shooter I'm not these I'm not a dead eye you know uh michael and ron are both you know better shooters than i am but uh it's something i have to work at but this gun <laughs> has made me look better than what i am um and a lot of that has to do with the trigger um the stock trigger on this gun is excellent um and also another thing guys i think for me i'm able to get more of my paws on the frame of this gun um it is beefier in here and it really in the grip too than the Glock 19 so I'm able to get more hands on it and uh, you know it's got a higher bore axis and I don't know why SIG did that um, I guess just to maintain the same standard SIG look but uh, you know so my grip is but honestly I don't I don't notice the recoil difference uh, I know people fuss about it um, high bore axis blah 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 but uh, like at the range I don't notice the difference it's got Ameriglow sights on it as well, fluorescent orange front. Um, uh, another thing about this gun, guys, is the is the modularity of the platform. The internals are the gun; they're the serialized part. So the grip module you you can actually purchase for like right around forty bucks. And one thing that I've done is my brother, uh, as a gift, bought me the uh, subcompact lower grip module, um, an FDE. I'm all about that FDE life um, and uh, you can put it on this on this slide with the internals um, and you're still gonna have the full length slide and under here there's actually a dust cover that will that will cover it um, but then you get the shorter grip um, also bought a few mags for it and they're 12 round mags so it's really comparable to like the MMP subcompact um, but it's easier to carry I have carried in that configuration a few times, but for the most part, I run it as is. Um, you know, the cool thing about this system, uh, and which this is the system that the you know the military picked up uh, with their contract, but the cool thing about this system is that modularity. So, you know, with this gun, say you bought this gun, right, uh, and then you bought one holster. And then, and this is exactly what I did. Then you get the lower grip module, so you'll spend another forty bucks, and then you'll probably spend another seventy dollars on some shorter mags, just to carry some flush mags. And you've got a carry gun for the winter time, and for summertime, like all weather, mm -hmm. in one gun. And it's not a big deal to change out the. I mean, it takes like a minute to switch out, you know, different lowers. Yeah. Um, I, guys, you know. If you're if you're not a Glock guy, um, in which I would still probably recommend the Glock 19 and 26 first, but if you're not a Glock guy, then uh, this is a great platform. Yeah. Some people have you know had their issues. Don Numbers for one at uh, Attack Response has had I think he's got a lemon. Like his his P320 has just had issues all along the way. Now of course they shoot their guns you know thousands and thousands and thousands of rounds because they go through classes and stuff but um, this this gun is seen between 1200 and 1500 rounds in a short time um, I mean I ran a, a case through this gun in no time we actually the first time me and Michael got a hold of this gun at the range we put 700 rounds through it in one day mm -hmm. how many hiccups do we have none none um, so for me this gun is good to go. I ran some uh, HSTs through it just to make sure they would feed, check my point A and point impact. Uh, it was good to go. So uh, this one's in my carry rotation. Um, I realize that I have a lot of guns up here. And some people are like, man, how do you go back and forth between all those guns? Well, honestly, guys, I really don't. I carry this one the most 
And then here lately, the SIG has been seeing a lot of carry. Yeah. But um, anyways, guys, this is this is my rotation. This is, you know, this is what if I'm gonna carry a gun, it's it's gonna be one of these. Um, I don't ever I don't ever touch my wife's 43. She does carry this one sometimes. Uh, she's got a 19. I don't carry it, but it's it's stock and it's got the Ameriglows, so I could if I wanted to. Her 43's got the Ameriglows. Mm -hmm. um, you kind of see a pattern here, you know. I guess the platforms are slightly different, but um, I like to run the same sights and uh, I like to run them stock. Yep. So, you got anything else, man? No, brother. That's it. Guys, we appreciate y'all watching. You know what to do. Like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, you can put them in the comment section below. Or you can jump over to the Facebook page. We always get into a more in-depth conversation there. Uh, we will also provide links to all of our social media outlets and uh, uh, sponsors in the description box below. But anyways, guys, we appreciate y'all watching. And y'all be safe.